hey y'all welcome back to the channel welcome back i am tommy and you're on tommy bites homestead so i have been thinking i may want to change the name of my channel so i'm asking y'all should i change it or should i leave it and if i do change it i'm thinking about changing it to so you let me know in the comments down below i'm about to go into the wally world um i just left sam's doing a haul i was gonna put both hauls in the same video change your mind um so i'm about to get masked up and y'all i'm just trying to stock up because every day our numbers here in south carolina have been like uh have been really high for the past two days they were over 3,000 new cases today I believe it was um, maybe 2,500 or something like that new cases so that's a good reason for you to have extra items in your pantry and also last night on the news I saw um, that they were talking about I think here because I know in other states, some other states, they have already started um, going back to what they were doing back in March, which was closing things down at like 10 o'clock, 1030 at night. So here in South Carolina, I heard them say that they were going to do that here. So when I went into the Sam's, I guess that's where all the tissue was gone, except for the pack that I got. And you'll see that in that video. But I mean, all the tissue that's, you know, the ones in the boxes, they were gone. So I did get some tissue. I already have tissue at home. So it's not like I don't have any. But I guess everybody is having that mindset. They're shutting stuff down. We taking it all. Um, that's panic buying. I don't like to panic buy. I did that back in March. That's why ever since then, I have been getting little by little. So that for this situation... I don't have to panic buy. I can just go buy um, this, that, and the other. This is my list, y'all. I don't have a long list. This was my list when I went into Sam's. And the things I didn't get out of Sam's, I have to get in here, which is the remainder of the stuff for my chili. But y'all, if you're not prepared, just grab a little extra. Um... I don't believe in taking everything off of shelves, not leaving anything for the next person because you wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't want somebody to do that. So I'm about to go in here. And then after I'm done with this, I'm gonna take this stuff home, put it up. And I have to find my husband a oh, Christmas gift, y'all. I'm always late. But always on time, just like God. So I'm gonna go in here. Hopefully, it's not crazy. I only have like maybe five things I need to get out of here. So that shouldn't take me long um, because I did the majority of my stuff yesterday in a Walmart haul and I didn't record the setup afterwards. I just recorded when I was in the store. So I will add this to that one though. And I will see y'all in a few minutes. So it's never a good time when you go in the store and there's no buggies. And you have to come back outside. I need some green onions. These are 78 cents. Some jalapenos. over here this is not my usual um this is not my usual walmart i need some i got ground beef at home but i don't want to mess with it it's in my freezer i just want to get another one which i probably 
should just use what's in my freezer. That way I'm rotating and then I'll buy some more of this. This is the one I usually buy. So if you do these right here, you gotta soak them and all that stuff overnight. So to keep from having to do that, I'm gonna get the can so I'm gonna get these right here these are the same as these these are just dark red here's some things that I got from the Walmart um, so I had gotten some orange juice as you can see we've already cracked that open um, the price on that was like $3.48, I believe. And then the Minute Maid Fruit Punch. That was also $3 and some change. And then I got some milk, which I already had milk, but I bought some more milk. And instead of them using the other milk, y'all, they already opened it. So I also got a pound of the cheese. This is for my chili and that was a dollar in 58 or 68 cent and you saw what i got when i was in the store the turkey legs for 530 and 557 the tomato paste for 72 cents um 40 cents for the dark red kidney bean great value this is all for my chili and then the diced tomatoes was 40 cent. The crushed tomatoes was 82 cent. My beef broth unsalted was $1.68. I got some French vanilla, even though I have the huge um, coffee mate creamer, I decided to get this right here so I can stop using the other one. And plus my husband was looking for the French vanilla and it's sugar free and it tastes so good. Y'all, you would not know that it's sugar free. Okay, so. So I had the um, green onions that were 77 cents. And then the uh, jalapeno pepper was $1.24 a pound. And so I got that. And then I got the spinach because I told y'all I was going to be making my smoothies with my berries over there for my breakfast. Then I got some liners. These were $3 and everything's like $3.48. I think it was $3.68, the liners. And then I bought some paper plates for $1.48. Well, they're actually the foam plates. I don't like the paper plates, even though I know those are best for the environment. Um, but I don't like that seep through action. And so then I got another thing of all detergent and some cooking oil right here. Well, the all detergent was 348. This was, I think, 368. No, 4. 468. And then a bag of these right here with the spicy chips. I got that. And of course, the stuff in the back is my Sam's Club haul. So, y'all, that's it for the Walmart haul. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, sorry, I kind of rushed through it but i am extremely tired and i still have to go out and do some things in the backyard to get my garden together so i will see y'all on the other side tomorrow remember that i love you but you need to love yourself and then you can go out and spread god's love with distance of course y'all take care of yourself peace love and light Right.